there! Did you know that you could get paid to spend time on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube? As you know, businesses of all sizes are getting a presence on social media sites right now. Think of how many business profiles you've seen on Facebook and Twitter. For all types of businesses, right from the big giants like McDonald's and Coca-Cola, down to your local hardware store. Every business is trying to get attention on social media sites and get more fans, likes, tweets, and followers. All of this takes time, knowledge, and persistence, which many business owners are short on because they're busy with the day-to-day -day running of their businesses. So they're outsourcing all of this work on the social media sites, such as Facebook and Twitter, to other people. To people just like you. They're paying people just like you as much as $25 to $35 per hour to do simple tasks such as posting Facebook status updates, uploading videos to YouTube, tweeting special offers and promotions, commenting and liking YouTube videos, and many more easy social media jobs. You don't need any previous experience, just a knowledge of how to use social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and a few spare hours each week. You get paid directly into your bank account at the end of each week and you can begin work right away. We have employers currently hiring people from all over the world for jobs just like these right now. It just takes a couple of minutes. Try it now. Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. They're not only a way to stay connected these days, but they're also very important tools for businesses. Some companies now dishing out hefty salaries to help manage their social media presence. Fox 7's Fody Kalurgis joining us with more on that. Hey, Fody. Hey, Mike. Yeah, this social media thing has really given birth to an entire new industry. Meet the social media managers. They get paid to tweet, follow, make Facebook posts, and to keep your business relevant. The best part, some are making six figures doing it. I got laid off. Um, it, it was a, a time when that was happening. It was about two years ago. Kate Buck was like millions around the country, unemployed with lots of time to reflect. I had been playing around a lot on Twitter and Facebook, and what I saw was I just started noticing I saw people who had large followings, uh, people whose followings were growing. I, I saw a lot of complaining that they had so many direct messages and private messages, or they had so many replies that they, they couldn't like manage it all. It was then Kate seized the opportunity and started KBJ Online, a social media management company that tweets, writes posts, pokes, and blogs for major brands around Austin. It's flexible and it's fun, so it's not a job that I hate doing every day. You know, I get to play on Facebook and Twitter for a living, um, so I enjoy what I do. I get to, you know, make my own hours and... Um, you know, work with the clients I want to work with. Right now, she manages about 12 accounts, either on her computer or on her iPhone. The tweets carefully crafted and strategically executed. I think it's just great that she can offer her assistance in teaching people how to do stuff. Mackenzie Kelly just broke into the industry. By day, she's a county employee and volunteer firefighter. I actually schedule tweets. It's just kind of a couple hours here, a couple hours there on the weekend. And on her off time, she manages a handful of social media accounts. This year, part time, I've made about $5,500. Um, I charge anywhere between two and three hundred dollars to get all the social media going for a company. Right now, the going rate for a full-time social media manager is about forty thousand dollars. That's just to tweet and Facebook all day long. 